The Liquitex story begins with Henry Levison, who had ran a company called Permanent Pigments in Cincinnati, Ohio, and they had been milling oil color since 1933. But acrylics had been around since the early 20th century in a solvent-based form. But in 1955, Henry had developed the first commercially viable acrylic in water-based form, and he called that Liquitex, or liquid texture. In 1956, our Liquitex soft body range was the first water-based acrylic color, and it has a medium viscosity. But we should first establish what acrylic color is. It's comprised of pigment, binder, which in the case of acrylic is acrylic copolymer from the plastics family, and the vehicle, which is water and helps move it around. And this polymer comes from the Greek word polymeros, meaning that it has many parts. And that's because of the many molecules that form a chain and creates a strong bond. And that's what gives us this very flexible, strong paint film. And pigment that we have right here is the same component that can be found in acrylic oil and watercolor. So we mentioned that this is your acrylic polymer. And right here we have flaxseed, which is the basis of linseed oil, if we were making oil paint, and then gum arabic, which would be the binder and watercolor. Acrylic is water soluble when wet, but when the water evaporates from the paint film, it locks the pigment in place, making it permanent, and then it cannot be re-wet. And because it's water-based, it's really fast drying. The other thing you wanna know about acrylics is they love to adhere to a wide variety of porous surfaces like canvas, wood, concrete, and leather. And I find it more forgiving than watercolor and less complicated than oil, and that makes it great for experimentation. Check out our next videos for an overview of all of the Liquitex color ranges.